Next on our most bizarre stunt disasters, as a Hollywood stuntman, Bob Miner has been in many death-defying situations. I've been a stuntman for 35 years. I've done stunts from fighting to driving. I've been set on fire. I've jumped off buildings. I've done it all. Which makes it even more bizarre that Bob's career was almost ended by one of the most basic stunts in the Fall Guys handbook. Just your routine flying car stunt. Oh my God. I was uh, in Canada doing a movie, and my objective was to turn over a car. I was to go drive to a construction site, hit my ramp, turn the car over, and walk away from the stunt. This clip shows Bob's silver sedan executing a turnover to perfection. Everything except the walking away part. Sometimes you can do the simplest thing and you get hurt. Turning over a car is simple to me. I've done that dozens of times. But that was one of the times when I did everything right and it just slapped. The slap was the sound of Bob's brain moving in his skull. I did everything that was correct. And it just so happened when the car landed, it uh, just jolted my head. I was knocked out unconscious. I stayed in the car for 29 minutes upside down before somebody was able to rescue me. Fearing the worst, a helicopter medevac was rushed to the scene of the accident. The crew stood silent and worried as Bob lay motionless. The EMTs transported Bob to Brookside Hospital, where he slipped in and out of consciousness for the next two weeks. Doctors were concerned. Bob suffered a frontal lobe injury. Because of a uh, my frontal lobe injury, I had to try and get back to what I had before. It was like the beginning of everything again.